The area of a triangle can be found using the formula area equals half AB sine C. We just need to label the sides and angles of the triangle correctly. The lowercase a, b and c can be any of the triangle's three sides. And the capital letters stand for the angles opposite. So opposite a is the angle shown by a capital A. Opposite B is B and opposite C is C. In our formula, we only need to worry about labelling the sides A and B and we always have the angle C between them. To use our rule, we need to know two sides, A and B, with a known angle C sandwiched in between them. It doesn't matter which sides are A and B. For example, here we can call A 5 and B 4. C is the angle between them, which is 30 degrees. Therefore, the area is half times 5 times 4 times sine 30, which equals 5. The area is 5 units squared. We simply multiply a half by the two sides and the sine of the angle between them. Here's another example. Remember A and B are the two sides that surround the known angle. It doesn't matter which of these sides is A or B. We will call A 7 cm and B 3 cm. C is the angle between the known sides, which is 70 degrees. So the area equals 1 half times 7 times 3 times sine 70, which can be calculated on a calculator to be approximately 9.87. The units are centimetres squared. Here's another example. Here we know two sides. So A can be 8 metres and B can be 5 metres. However, we need to know the angle between them, which we don't know. We need to find the missing angle C. We have angles of 100 degrees and 45 degrees, which make 145 degrees. Angles in a triangle add to 180, so we subtract 145 from 180 degrees. 180 minus 145 equals 35 degrees. Our missing angle C is 35 degrees. Now the area is 1 half times 8 times 5 times sine 35. Working this out by calculator, we get an area of approximately 11.5 metres squared. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.